So you have to have connectivity everywhere you go. Another one that's really important is that the transitions that have occurred for each one of these has happened more and more rapidly. It's faster. Everybody today says everything's happening so much faster. My answer is always, if you look back in five years, we'll all look at this time and say, wasn't it great when? Because the transitions we have to look forward to in the future are going to happen even faster. But I'll be honest, these are the obvious, the simple underlying ones that are occurring. There's a more important change that's been occurring, been occurring underneath this, a thread that's woven, woven throughout these changes. And that is, is that it's been a shift from a CPU-based architecture to a SOC or a system on chip based architecture. And you can take a look at the two drawings here. The one on the left is what the old CPU looked like. And you look at it mostly its core and then graphics and memory. But there's everything surrounding the CPU. As this connectivity, this mobility has occurred, the need to have the entire system architecture on a single piece of silicon has really driven innovation. So now you see the core actually a shrinking percentage of the silicon. And you have graphics and, and image processing and I.O. All the other parts of the device that are required, the connectivity and comms, they become important requirements for this technology. And this is good news. This plays right into what Intel does best. We've driven Moore's Law, we have great architecture. This is about innovation and integration. And that's exactly what we do. And so we look at this and we say, this plays right to our strengths. So why am I so 